worked for two different restaurants, three Michelin stars. I mean, that is so huge because, I mean, what is there, just a handful of three Michelin star restaurants here in New York, and you've worked at two of them over in Europe. What is the atmosphere like there? Um, you know, the first time I was in Europe working in Paris was 1997 um, at Arpege in uh, Ali Bassard's restaurant. And it was intense. You know, it was coming, coming from New York City where you're doing 200 covers a night, and then you go to Paris and, you know, you start at 9 o'clock in the morning and you take a break at 5 to 7 and you work 7 to 1 in the morning. And wow. you're working in an environment where you're doing only 40, 40 diners per service. So it's a little bit more compact. Oh. Um, but, you know, it was, it was the regimen and the discipline and the organization of it all for me um, when I was, you know, I was 21 years old at the time. It was very intense. And it was also an epiphany because I was just like, this is, when I was in Paris was when I realized that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Really? So you already trained? I was, I was in the middle of training. Um, oh, but, you know, I was kind of I was going to a school of hard knocks, and there was a lot of sacrifices going on and, and uh, you know, leaving the family behind, friends and girlfriends, and just moving to New York alone and now being submersed in this chef-cook world of 14-hour days, four hours of sleep, yeah. coffee, and, and that's it, and pretty much. How about the kitchen? But I, I enjoyed know it immensely. Good, yeah. yeah. What's the kitchen like, let's say, from the late 90s to now? It, w it was a very, like, whipping, you know, wasn't it? Like a very aggressive kind of kitchen, like yelling and screaming and pranks and, you know, the whole nine yards. And now it's more of like, I mean, was your kitchen more like, please dish that plate and whatever? Um, you know, I don't think the kitchen has changed drastically in the past decade to... 20 years, I can actually say at this point. Um, it's still, I think the kitchen right now has been painted being a glamorous place and the chef world being a glamorous and chefs are rock stars. I think that's a I think. Um, you we, don't think you're a rock star? I mean, we think you're a rock star. You don't think you're a rock star? I don't, I don't, no. No, oh. rock stars are rock stars. I, I think that uh, we are in a, a career and, and a craft that, you know, it's, it's backbreaking. You know, there's a lot mm -hmm. of, you know, if you were to spend the morning or were to show you what an actual service is tonight, for example, mm -hmm. or, or a Saturday night rush from, you know, 7.30 to 10.30 to feel what that's like, you're not going to, I guarantee you're not going to use the word glamorous. Right. You know, so that's forgotten. So the, that, that, that picture has been painted. Um, it's not very rewarding, um, but it's it's backbreaking work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, what is that like then? Seven thirty, ten thirty, the rush. It's you know, it's a fight. I like I like to describe it, and some of my chef colleague um, has mentioned that being in a service is like getting into a fight. It's like you're constantly throwing punches, and you're getting punched, and you're right. throwing back, and you're trying you're to catch like up. You're getting like knocked down. You start coming up a little, and you're getting knocked down, down, down again. Yeah, you know, we use terminology like that. We use terminology of being in the weeds, where it's like you don't even know what's left from right and machine is spitting out tickets and you're mm -hmm. trying to catch up and you're cooking and you're trying to you know quality control and coaching and motivating the rest of your staff and and you're, it's a race against the clock it's a fight it's like being in a boxing ring I would I would definitely describe it as that and motivating the rest of your staff and and you're, it's a race against the clock it's a fight it's like being in a boxing ring I would I would definitely describe it as that and then you're but you always come up winning right we strive to. So not only are you a rock star, but you're also a winning boxer.